Hey, good afternoon, my friends. This is Patrick Allman from the Stop Doing Nothing Show. This is a special episode for you. I am on the road uh, this week in Dallas at the Dallas Westin Hotel, and I picked the pool for the backdrop because the weather outside today is really great. Uh, the pool is an amazing scene. There are not too many people out here, so I thought you guys might appreciate a little bit of a breakup from our regular backdrop. Uh, today I'm out at a conference from a, a really smart gentleman named Ryan Stuman. And Ryan Stuman ran a mastermind out here for a couple of days. And I learned from several different people all kinds of new things. Uh, you know, I have to admit, every single time I go to an event, I don't learn as much because every event I go to, I get smarter and smarter and smarter. And sweet, you know what? There's probably an airplane flying overhead someplace. That's another cool part about this event. Uh, as you know, I'm a pilot, and every now and then an aviation, a plane flies overhead on its way to Addison Airport, K-A-D-S, for you aviation fans. So I'll see if I can capture a jet or a small Cessna flying overhead. But anyways, um, Ryan Stuman put on this amazing event in Dallas at the Dallas West in the past couple of days. Learned a lot about social media and marketing and reality and transparency and vulnerability. And um, there are really two key points I wanted to share with you this week, and they're actually contrasting points. And it really depends on you know your attitude and your approach in marketing and your approach in using social media. Uh, and that was the interesting thing because I like hearing from a variety of speakers, and from a variety of speakers, I get a variety of viewpoints. I can choose to you know kind of take and leave what I need. And I have to admit, there were kind of two key speakers that I learned a lot from how I wanted to do things and how I didn't want to do things. Uh, the first one I'm gonna tag in the comments below because his name is the first one I can remember. His name is Sean Whalen. Uh, thin guy, a cage fighter, bearded guy, loves his beard. He was up on uh, yesterday. Today is um, Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday. So he was up on Wednesday. And he talked, um, he's very loud, uh, he uses adult language. Look, I think another plane going overhead. Is there? Look. Is there a plane? Oh, you can't see it. Uh, I bet you that's the problem. I'm under the covers and you can't see the planes. Um, Sean William was very raw, very real, uses some adult languages. Uh, I'm gonna tag him below in the comments. So if you're okay with adult languages and you're okay with very raw and very vulnerable people, please do me a favor and give him a follow because he was really, really smart. Uh, the one thing that I liked about Sean is that he talked about um, uh, a lot about vulnerability and transparency. And one of the key phrases I think he used was about how vulnerability and transparency sells. I believe that was the phrase he used. And so he's 100% transparent, uh, has been ever since he got popular in social media, um, about his marriage, about his kids, about his ex-wife, about uh, his successes, about his failures. And um, it's interesting because uh, as we heard, or as you've been kind of instructed in the past, uh, things on social media don't um, don't necessarily get, um, people are afraid to be somewhat transparent on uh, social media. What happens is we uh, see a lot of scripted stuff. We see the Kardashian world, which is kind of a faux reality. It's, it's not really reality, it's faux reality. I mean, let, let's not lie. Nothing about the Kardashians is real, but everyone likes to mirror the Kardashians. Everyone likes to have a perfectly scripted uh, life while claiming to be vulnerable, but they're not truly vulnerable. We all know that reality TV shows are not the least bit realistic at all. Reality TV shows are 100% fake and scripted. And uh, we see that sometimes, or some people see that sometimes, and they want to do that. They, they want uh, the perfectly scripted drama, and they're not comfortable with being vulnerable. And, and that's something I've learned about us in general, and that, that Sean Whalen talks a lot about us. We're not comfortable with being vulnerable. We're not comfortable with you know, putting our emotions out there when we laugh or cry, or whether we have anger online or about things that upset us. We're just not 100% you know, comfortable with that. And uh, as a result, we just fake so much of it. And since, so, since social media itself is a platform built on popular and sharing content, and then we get so involved in the fakeness of it, we just keep creating more and more fake content. And so real content and vulnerability and transparency is a refreshing voice. And when you can find people like that, and Sean Wayne was one of them, and that's what he talks about. He talks about when you can find 
someone who is vulnerable and who's willing to be 100% transparent, it's refreshing. And that kind of segues over into your marketing. When you can find someone like that that's 100% vulnerable and transparent, uh, people will be more inclined to buy from that. We are, we are so, everything is marketing these days. Everything on social media from every single business and every single person is marketing. Whether it's marketing their personal brand, whether it's marketing wanting to be an influencer, whether it's marketing uh, you know, any particular kind of product or service, everything is marketing. And so everything is staged, everything is scripted, and transparency and vulnerability is rare. Transparency and vulnerability is unique, and it sells. So if you have any kind of business, or you are really hooked on being an influencer, and I can't stand that word, or if you want to be um, uh, more of a personal brand kind of thing, try being more transparent. Sean Whalen talked about the fact that uh, on social media, once he started doing some things that were really raw and emotional, his following and his shares and his likes went up. His reach went up. Popular pages and accounts started resharing his stuff, and his following went up. And then what happened? Eventually, Oprah's account shared his account, and I think in turn it got shared by the New York Times and some and some other accounts. But that was only after he made the decision to be raw and real and vulnerable. So if you want that kind of following, I mean, maybe you don't want you know 50 million Instagram followers or 5,000 Facebook likes. Maybe you just want 10 or 20, or maybe you're just selling a very simple product and you want to spread a message. Uh, you know, a charitable message of some sort. Try being real, try being vulnerable, and try showing the realness and the vulnerableness in the people uh, that are in your business. Now, what's interesting about this is Sean Whalen came on yesterday, talked about all that, uh, and then we had some other speakers yesterday. I mean, Sean Whalen was amazing, very high energy, and everyone wanted to take a selfie with him. And I'm gonna work hard to get Sean Whalen on the Stop Doing Nothing podcast for you. Uh, and then someone came on today, a little bit of a contrast, uh, talking about uh, Instagram. And this person, a good part of this person's presentation was basically how to kind of fake it until you make it on Instagram. How to get fake likes, how to pay people for likes, how to pay popular teenagers who are running accounts to get paid uh, to do shout outs to your account. So basically, there's a whole industry there of, of people, for lack of a better term, circle jerking each other. Hey, I have an Instagram account, it has, you know, 10 times as many followers as your account, pay me 10 or $15, uh, I'll promote your account on my account. Your account will get more popular. Uh, when your account's more popular, people will think you're popular, and so the organic people will follow. And so it really is the whole pay for the bots. Uh, the, the speaker, uh, pay for the bots, uh, pay for the following, pay for the likes, pay for the shares. Uh, there, he really did kind of uh, uh, espouse that traditional, not that traditional, that way of getting things done, which was a total contrast. Uh, to the Sean Whalen uh, way of getting things done. Uh, you know, this person talked about how accounts where you can pay someone $20, $30, 50 and get some shout outs, which is gonna increase your following, which is gonna make you seem more popular. And it's amazing when he was talking about this, the amount of people that were taking notes and they were like, and you could tell this was really interesting to people. People were very much interested in this fake it until you make it attitude, this paying for followers attitude. And um, it was just an interesting contrast between those two speakers. Which one is, is better for you? I'm not really here to say whether you should fake it until you make it. I'm just going to tell you that that's not a way I would recommend my clients do. As you know, I run a digital marketing agency and I give a plenty of advice on TV, at conferences, at professional events with thousands of people uh, about social media and about building a following and about you know transparency myself. I'm not as popular as Sean Whalen, but I think there's a right and a wrong way to do this and the wrong way to build a following, the wrong way to get popular, the wrong way to spread your message out there is to do the fake it till you make it and pay for the followers and pay for the shout outs. I mean, that stuff is just fake. And so much of social media is fake and staged and planned as it is that you don't need to be propagating that. Um, if you're the kind of person who who hates reality shows and you hate so much of the fake news on social media and you hate so much of the fact that people are just, I mean, social media is just one giant blowhard uh, after another espousing their opinions. If you hate that, then do me a favor, be a breath of fresh air in the world of social media, whether it's for your personal accounts or for your business accounts, be a breath of fresh air and be transparent, be vulnerable. If you're having a bad day and you want to share it because it may help another man or another woman or another child with their life, you know, go on camera when you're having a bad day and 
and, and you know, show people your tears and show people that life is not always uh, unicorns and rainbows. And uh, once you do that, then you're gonna find that your, your reach will increase on social media, your likes, follows, and shares will increase, just you know, as an incidental result. Not that that's what you should be doing, but you know, let's face it, we are in the marketing business, especially if we have a personal brand, we're marketing ourselves. But that reach, which is what you need to um, get your message out there, because that's what everything we're doing in marketing is about, is about getting a message out there, about bringing value. When you want to increase the reach and you want to bring more value to more people, try being more transparent. Try worrying less about things being staged with perfect backgrounds and perfect audio and perfect lighting and perfect makeup and all that other perfect bullshit because almost it almost seems like on social media the more per perfect something is the less perfect it actually is in reality and almost like the more perfect something is the the higher level of a bullshit factor it is so I hope this has helped you if it, as it, if it has as always please make sure you go uh, like um, our accounts uh, follow us on Instagram follow us on Facebook follow us on iTunes and if you're listening to the podcast on this please make sure you subscribe and rate the podcast. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please make sure you follow us on Facebook uh, and go follow us on iTunes. Um, excuse me. If you're, watching, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you follow us on YouTube and then go subscribe on iTunes. And if you're on iTunes, do the same over on YouTube. Uh, as always, if you have a question about business or personal productivity or how to be a high achiever, do me a favor, uh, shoot me a text message at 405 251-2022 or send me a private message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, or LinkedIn and I will get that and I will get that answered for you and I will do it completely anonymously and um, you know I always love your critiques. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening to Patrick and the Stop Doing Nothing Show. Until next week, take care. Be more transparent. Be more vulnerable and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.